we did horizontal asymptotes yesterday. We did vertical asymptotes. Those were pretty easy. You had things you had to memorize for horizontal. You had an algebraic procedure for vertical. Okay. Now we're going to start doing slant asymptotes. Which is what your book calls them. Some books will call them oblique. Okay, so if you see the word oblique, it means the exact same thing as slant. And we've basically got a rule for knowing when you're going to have one of these slant asymptotes. A rational function. Has a, and I'm going to abbreviate slant asymptote, if the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator. So this kind of goes along with the horizontal asymptotes. When we memorized the three different cases for the horizontal asymptotes, we were looking at that exponent, that leading exponent when the polynomial was in standard form. All right, so in other words, the degree of the polynomial. So again, you're going to take a look at those exponents, and you're going to check and see if the numerator is exactly one more than the denominator. Okay, now rules. When the top was bigger, what was that on horizontal? When the top is bigger, is that y equals zero or no horizontal asymptote from yesterday? Yeah, it's no horizontal. Okay, so when the numerator is one more than the denominator, so if it's got a slant, is it going to have a horizontal? Huh. If it's got a slant, it's not going to have a horizontal. Okay. All right, so they're going to look a little more complicated this time. So the functions might be something like a 2x squared minus a 5x plus a 7 all over an x minus 2. Okay, so that clearly rational function, we got that polynomial on top. And we're going to have little tiny polynomials on the bottom. All right, I will make sure that it's probably just going to be like an x minus 2, x plus 5, x minus 4. Okay, something with just a single exponent here. All right, now, checking out those exponents. It's a 2 right here. All right, and then there's the imaginary 1 that goes right there. So it is exactly 1 more. So that tells me, because the numerator is 2 and the bottom is 1, and there's a difference of 1 there, I know I'm going to have a slant. Now, the way to find a slant asymptote would be to divide this top numerator by the bottom denominator. All right, but you don't want to do, or I would say you don't want to do long division of polynomials. We did that in algebra 2. It was pretty long. You put this on the inside. You put this on the outside. All right. As a shortcut, you did synthetic division. As long as this denominator is like an x plus 2, x minus 5, x plus 4, then synthetic division works really, really nice. It's a shortcut, OK? So if you remember how to do it, let's do SD for synthetic division here. Whatever is right here, that says x minus 2. So we're going to do the opposite sign. So instead of a negative 2, we're going to do a positive 2. And then you take the numerator and you make sure that it is in decreasing order of the exponents, which it is, x to the second, x to the first, x to the zero. As long as that's true, then you just write down all of the coefficients. So I'm going to write down the 2. I'm going to write down the negative 5. I'm going to write down the 7. It's always add on synthetic division as we go down. And the 2 automatically comes down. That's your first move. So the two comes straight down. You have a two right here. All right. And then remember the procedure. Two times this two up here is going to be four. I put it there. I add going down. 
So negative 5 plus 4 is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 times 2, negative 2. And then I add going down, I get a 5. Now, what's going to happen is whatever number is right here, because you're probably going to always have a number there, we're going to ignore this number because that's the remainder. All right, so we're going to ignore the remainder because we don't want the remainder. And if you remember how you were supposed to write this answer, you started, this was always your remainder if there was a number here. This was your constant, this was your x term. If we had another one, it would be x squared and then x to the third and then x to the fourth. You went up going to the left. All right, now stop and think about this for a minute. <clears throat> Let's draw up here. Let's draw a little coordinate plane. Asymptotes are straight lines, right? And this is going to be a slant asymptote. So <clears throat> let's just randomly say it happens to be right there. If that's my slant asymptote, it's a straight line, right? Wouldn't it be nice if we wrote the equation in slope intercept form? Sophomores that are participating in press day report to the main gym, please for picture. Okay, so in other words, function might look like that, but it doesn't make any difference. The point being, if I can write the equation of that slant asymptote in y equals mx plus b form, then I've got an equation for a line for it. Okay, so that's what we're going to have right here. This is your b. This is your x term. All right, so it's going to be y equals 2x minus 1. y equals 2x minus 1. And that is going to be my slant asymptote. So the first number you throw out, because that's the reminder, this is going to be your constant or your b term. That right there is going to be your slope. So y equals 2x minus 1 is going to be the equation of the slant asymptote for this function. Now, I ought to be able to also find horizontal and vertical from yesterday, right? Even though I don't need to. I mean, it didn't ask for it. That's not what this is about, but I can do it. So find horizontal asymptotes. We already said that when the top is bigger than the bottom, then there are no horizontal, correct? Because that was one of the scenarios we had to memorize. So there's no horizontal. How did we do vertical yesterday? What do we do to find vertical? Carly, do you remember? Took the bottom and set it to zero. So my bottom is x minus two. So x minus two set to equal to zero. Add two to both sides, x equals two. So then there's my vertical. So this equation right here has one slant asymptote. And at that line has one vertical asymptote at x equals two. And as of right now, that's all we know about this, okay? Every one of them, I will make sure that has a nice little x plus five, x minus two, x plus seven on the bottom so that this synthetic division works out really nice, okay? All right, questions on that? All right, so let's see.